Who's ready for some facts? Just the facts, nothing but the facts. Maybe a few opinions, but mostly facts. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome inside the number one three-row luxury vehicle of all time with nearly one million sold. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thank you so much for watching. This week I have the 2019 Acura MDX all-wheel drive featuring the A-Spec package. So what's new with the MDX A-Spec? I'm glad you asked. We're talking about perforated leather steering wheel, Alcantara trim seats, heated and ventilated front seats, red illuminated gauges, chrome-plated paddle shifters, ebony headliner, pattern gloss black trim, metal sport pedals, and sill plate. There's also this unique front and rear fascia, shark gray 20-inch wheels, LED fog lights, large dual exhaust finishers, dark lighting treatment, dark chrome grille surround, gloss black window trim, and of course, the A-Spec badging. We also have the technology package on our tester, which includes Acura Link communication system, the navigation system with voice recognition, blind spot information, remote engine start, rain sensing wipers, power folding side mirrors, the list continues, LED puddle lights, rear cross traffic monitor, and front and rear parking sensors. Let's talk powertrain. Under the hood is a 3.5 liter V6 made it to a nine speed automatic transmission with variable cylinder management, 290 ponies, 267 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is rated at 19 city, 25 highway for a mixed driving number of 21. Let's take a look at the history of this vehicle to see how it compares, to see how realistic that is. Over the last 15 to 1600 miles, this vehicle has been averaging just under 22 miles per gallon in mixed driving. Now in its third generation, the MDX is a model that has been hugely successful for Acura. As I mentioned, they are closing in on a million units sold, making it the best selling luxury three row SUV of all time. With this A-Spec, a healthy dose of sport styling distinguishing this vehicle from the standard MDX from just about every angle inside and out. This A-Spec trim is now available on both the MDX and RDX SUVs, as you saw in my previous review with the RDX, as well as their ILX and TLX sedans. Some of the exterior features include a power tailgate, power moonroof with tilt feature, July LED headlights, heated power door mirrors with turn signal indicators, and a keyless access system with smart entry. On the inside, you've got a multi-view rear camera with dynamic guidelines, on-demand multi-use display, touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto integration, thank God, Bluetooth hands-free link, there's also a driver and front passenger 12-way power seats, Tri-zone automatic climate control with an air filtration system, push button start, and home link system. Cargo volume in this three-row luxury SUV is just over 15 and a half cubic feet of volume behind the third row. Fold that down, then you're looking at about 43 and change, and then all rows folded down, you're looking at 90.9 .9 cubic feet of volume. Of course, we also have the AccuWatch features, which means adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, braking, road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and lane keeping assist system. This car is safe. Talking about rivals now, its closest competitor in the three-row luxury SUV market is probably the Volvo XC90. Three of the ones that are pretty closely matched include the Infiniti QX60, the Audi Q7, and the Lexus RX 350L. Price-wise, only the Infiniti has a better price point at just under 54 grand, whereas this one is just under 55. Powertrain-wise, this is probably the best vehicle of all five that I'm mentioning now. Next up would probably be the Lexus. It has a 3.5 liter V6 with an eight speed automatic transmission. Power and torque numbers are about the same. Now the Infiniti has a CVT, so that's probably the downside to some people. 
Both the Audi and Volvo both feature two liter turbos made into eight speed automatic transmissions, but get much lower horsepower compared to the MDX, right around 250 compared to the 290 that we have under our hood. And only the XC90 has more third row leg room at 31.9 inches versus our 30.9. Here's a real look at your back seat leg room from a guy who is 5'11". That is my position as the driver up front. The seat goes forward once you turn the vehicle on. And this middle row is all the way back. It does have some seat travel, so if I can move it forward here a little bit, you can see how much I can slide forward. But of course, you sacrifice leg room there. A little bit back in the middle and all the way back. And here's how much room I have with it all the way back. But of course, you're gonna sacrifice leg room in the third row. As far as safety ratings, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gives this vehicle a five-star overall rating. Clearly, there's a reason why this is the number one selling three-row luxury vehicle of all time with nearly a million units sold. MSRP, just under 55 grand. Give it a look, give it a test drive, and decide for yourself. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. This has been Just the Facts on the 2019 Acura MDX all-wheel drive a spec. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.